Hello there, beautiful, amazing, and gorgeous people. In this tutorial, we will be going over installing NPM. As a general note, this tutorial will work for Windows, Mac, and Linux users. Let's get started. Go to npmjs.org slash get dash npm. Scroll down until you find the header that says install npm or a download button. Click the download button. This will take you to the nodejs.org webpage. This is because npm is part of a software called Node.js. Scroll down in the Node.js webpage and download whichever version you wish to play around with. I suggest you install the latest version, but in some cases, it might cause compatibility issues when working with a project. I will go ahead and install version 6. Installing the latest version should not affect you in being able to follow this tutorial. Go ahead and get the Node.js installer. Open the installer and follow the install instructions. Leave the default options unless you know what you're doing. Once you're at the last step, click the install button and wait for it to complete. After this, you should have npm in your system. Now, if you're using Windows, you need a nice command line tool with which to use npm. If you're using Mac or Linux, you can use the terminal that comes with your operating system. For Windows users, the tool we will use as a terminal is called git bash. To install git bash, go to the git-sem.com. Under downloads, click on Windows and wait for the installer to complete. Open the installer and again, follow the default steps unless you know what you're doing. Click on the install button and wait for the install to complete. Now that you have installed Node.js in Git, which includes Git Bash, you are ready to go to the terminal and start playing around with npm. To confirm that everything installed correctly, open the terminal and type in the following commands. git dash dash version, node dash v, and npm dash v. Each of those commands should display a version like it does in my terminal. If any of those commands doesn't display a version, then something went wrong. Otherwise, you're good to go. If you have any issues, leave a comment for me and I'll do my very best to help you out. Now tell me, what makes you want to learn and use NPM? Leave your message in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to support me by subscribing, liking the video, leaving a comment, and sharing the video with your friends. See you next time!